From the past several interviews here in Poland, we have heard a very compelling case that the Riese tunnels, those we can see today, are literally only the top of the iceberg. They were either constructed to become shelters or research facilities themselves, but incomplete, or cover-ups outright. And the real Riese locations are hidden in underground levels far deeper. Under these locations, the ones we know of, or located inside some of the adjacent mountaintops here. We have heard of pre-war existing mine tunnels and caves been used by the SS for special research. We have heard of how the German Postal Service nuclear scientists have worked for the SS installing cyclotrons not far from the castle in secret underground installations. We've heard of deadly radiation in the underground of the Henge. Extremely sophisticated access cards have been found cabling. Rocket testing facilities was located here. The Russian top nuclear scientists searching the area after the war and brought von Aden with him, one of Germany's top nuclear scientists, who was later highly decorated by Stalin for his efforts on the Russian nuclear projects. Field Marshal Schröner made a fanatical last stand with the German army here to keep the Russians out of the area. And all of the projects here were approved by General Kamler himself, and both he and Speer briefed Hitler on Project Riese all the way until the end of the war. We have heard prisoners' testimonies from those who worked in completed underground facilities, installing radiators and the last creature comforts in completed underground factories. None of this we can see today. And again, a telling clue is that the largest consumer of cement in the Reich was Project Riese. And despite this, we practically don't see any of it in the known locations. We have all the indications, including the remnants of electricity cables and communications underground. Also the indication that vast amounts of electricity funneled into the area to the point where there was an excess after the war ended. So we need to now start looking for the clues in the mountains especially those mountains located apart from the Riese facilities that we know of. What we're looking for are anomalies in the topography, for instance, tunnel entrances that are covered up, mine shafts, and one more important thing. If you place a tunnel or a factory inside a mountain, you will need drainage system to vacate the natural mountain runoff. It would assemble in the tunnels otherwise. And Alex is going to show us some of these drainage tunnels and pipes constructed and dated from during the war. And they are completely out of place from where anybody would expect them or need them to be. Also, we'll take a look at the rail lines and the possible decommissioned rail tunnels, the sites of the labor camps. And I wanted to take a closer look at the plant by Osufka. Some says it's a nuclear reactor for heat or power. We thought it was a heavy water production plant, and Tomas suggests it was to house Swiss generators. And of course, we need to take a look at the area surrounding the castle. With so many rumors and events that have taken place here, I wanted to see for myself what is here today. And I wanted to visit the site of the labor camp that was located only a thousand meters from the castle. And I was honestly not expecting to find what we did there. Also, the area near the castle, within the security zone, Alex found some very interesting grooves in the ground. They show up on LiDAR. Nothing that makes any sense, just like so much else here around Project Lisa sites. And they really can't be identified or their purpose. So maybe you guys can come up with a possible explanation as to what they were. And there's something else. It was rumored. I heard it for the first time in Czechoslovakia. And now here, Tomas mentions it also. And that's piquing my interest. It had previously been suggested from several different places that General Kamla had a lady friend living near the castle here. And together, uh, towards the end of the war, they had a son. Now this son supposedly grew up in Czechoslovakia. And in the late 60s, apparently Kamla returned here to sign over some property, signing legal papers, 
and I separately found what was suggested to be the signature from one of these official documents. All of that opens up a whole new level of events, especially questioning how would Kamala be able to travel across borders. AEG here was here, uh, Siemens was here, hmm? and Kamala was here hmm? because Kamala had a son not far from here. Kamala was boss of all of them. And Kamla came Hitler, back. Tak, Kamla. Kamla był góry, no sam, on, on wszystkie projekty zatwierdzał. Musiał na każdym projekcie musiał być yeah. podpis Kamlera. But every, the, every project must be undersigned by Kamla. But the interesting thing is, Kamla had a business not far from here, and Kamla had a son here girlfriend. and a girlfriend, and he came back in '62, '68. Powiedz mu, że nawet. Poczekaj, bo ja się wcielę. Dlaczego Kamler wrócił dopiero w 1968? On nie wrócił, on tylko przyjechał załatwić, że i wrócił. Załatwił to dokumenty. In America, according to Operation Paperclip. Mm -hmm. yes. Like uh, Werner von Braun, yes. like Hubertus Struckholt and yes. another personal. And we all have the documents, I have the documents mm -hmm. that Kamler surrendered Kamler to the Americans. Kamler was in Paperclip. Yes. But he and came back here. When was time and was necessary to do some businesses here to hand over to his son rights to a Swiss account and another business and access to chyba też dostęp tam do tego podziemia, nie? And access to underground object in the vicinity of his home. Kamler's camp in 1968 too. and uh, there is a document in possession of uh, uh, Czech services that he undersigned that document in uh, 1968. And not only that, but this means that Kamla was with the Americans, yes. This was behind the Iron Curtain. He, he, had, he had no rights to and travel. He, and he could travel between the Iron Curtain and here. The only way that could happen is if the intelligence service on both sides was involved. If Russia knows this, he will be captured. Well, Probably, he, if his travel was true story, it was covered by Guten special Tag, forces. Yeah. Guten Tag. <laughs> so this was... <laughs> this, is, this is necessary to have cover, a very strong cover from so the special service. So this is Czech Secret Service, Polish Secret Service, uh, and American Secret uh, Service uh -huh. to make that work. Polish maybe not. Not it? I think no, so. No, he's going to check. Polish had, check. had completely no knowledge completely right. about this. And Russians. You Russian, think right? Russian too. Czech Ale only. Ale powiedz mu, że w mamy to samo. Czech only and, and uh, USA. In Książ, here we have Russians and Americans. So this, whatever happened here, was so important that opposing security services or actually intelligence services was collaborate. They are collaborating. They were secured, financially secured after the war. Kamla, just Kamla's business here. After the war, he worked with Dupont and Kevlar, and uh, this technology was sold by his son to Dupont. So already during so, think. so this for me this is easy. The technology was found by German researchers. This was German. This was German technology. And it stayed. And afterward, this was useful, and this was sold to Dupont because they 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 paid. Because Kamla's son was running the business eventually. Out beneath the castle, we're looking for a possible rail or tunnel connection between the mountain the castle is on and the adjacent ridge opposing it. So this is literally the mountain where all the tunnel systems are, uh, but way above here is the castle. Right? Right? Yeah. Right. And then this is the side of the old castle. I see a lot of stairs. Why is history always upstairs? So this is the line where the tunnel would have come from here, over here, and into there.
They could eat. Totally. And there could have been anything here and it well there is anything here, there's rubble here. There are stones here, there are square stones here, there's all these fucking things. I mean if there was a tunnel here it could easily have been collapsed and just covered up. And there's plenty of rubble. Why would all these square stones be coming down this hole this uh, hole here? And that fits with the center over there, the, little, the dark. This line. This line. Yes. Yeah. And right next to the old castle, where there's probably some sort of infrastructure already for something. There's a lot of that going on. There you go. There's definitely a groove in the landscape. Yeah. If there was an underground here and an entrance and the groove yeah. in the landscape leads here, it will be the first thing filling up with water. That's the line of the tunnel. This small hill. This small. I see it, yeah. It's divided. The line of railway be here. Here. Yeah. I see it. And the old castle is up there. Knights. Mm -hmm. Knights. Really? Yeah. The Third. last European, maybe maybe last competition in the world for jousting. The first written account of the old castle was from 1288. It was originally a wooden stronghold and later fortified by brick, and fast forward through a whole lot of small wars, it was rebuilt in the 18th century into a romantic residence with an armory, bedrooms, courtroom, prison chambers, a torture chamber, and a chapel. Unfortunately, at the end of World War II, the castle was destroyed by Russian troops. However, the Germans did spend some time here. Whether it was for dining or for something else, it's still a little unclear, so let's have a look. I always thought that we should bring dueling back. Uh, was this the wall or? During rain. Oh, right. Really? Oh, so this is literally a medieval yeah. rain drain. It's made to direct water to the side of the road because uh, direct stream of water will destroy stones. Of course. And road. this is hundreds of years old. How old was this castle? This is forcing water to be going yeah. to the side. So how old is this? I don't know. But it's still beautiful. It's gorgeous. It and the rush it was better before war. You mean it was better before the Russians blew it up? There are fillers for a restaurant's kitchen. Oh yes. The kitchen was on the side, but the restaurant was in inside the ruins. And 
This is a question. What is this? Well, <laughs> that's a question so I hear. What is this? If you answer, you will win uh, one beer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's have a look at this then. Well, I see red brick, which is definitely not part of the original construction. Now I see masonry that is somewhat confusing. Well, I see hinges. I mean, this could very easily be World War II construction, obviously. This, I mean, this is uh, masonry over a steel door or a heavy door. That is a very timeless. Put electrical, or you no, could put electrical no. or water bathroom. We could put a water. Very important dot are that dot lines. Ventilation. Uh huh. So we're back to the bathroom again. And this below. Another one there. Okay. Airflow. Airflow. Access, cement slabs. Access from the but this is cement. This is cement with yes, rebar. Cement. Yes. Was it prepared? These are pre this I mean this looks like anything World War One, World War Two, but I don't see why they would World War One be here. What is this? Everybody has it at home. Lots of ventilation. So if it's not a toilet, no. And it's not a cold storage. Oh, it could be a cold storage. You have this in your kitchen. The stove? No. The oven? The fridge, you yeah, had the cold storage. Uh -huh. Cold storage? Yeah. Ice was transported from above to maintain the cold. Adequate level of uh, ice from the river, collecting during uh, winter. Uh -huh. Cold air was coming through this pipe, this uh, holes, mm -hmm. escaping. Level, mm -hmm. level high, and this was chamber Free for meat. That's for meat. When was this? Was so this engine, engine was bigger. Yeah. And compressor, but uh, chamber for food was smaller, relatively small. Okay. So th this was so this was older. Yeah. It's just the it's just the refurbishment where the red brick look makes it looks like it could easily be a lot newer. Probably this was restored after the world, first war. This was not destroyed. These are in the way, but but it's difficult to, to do that. This is high, but it's not so the road was coming from down uh -huh. there back then. Uh -huh. Then you have the bridge there. It was coming uh, that and going like a snake. So they bricked up the old main, yeah, I can see that's where the wall was. So this was the main entrance. Now people are coming here. Oh, of here was a toilet. Was why was there a toilet right here? small toilet for a couple, maybe four. Right by the front door after the war, after it was blown up? I don't know. Why? <laughs> I mean, it was, you see? Pipe. Pipe. Maybe it was a pipe. <laughs> Three or four. <laughs> Toilets. Yeah. 
of all the places in the world. Oh. The royals in the castle very much enjoy taking their friends and dining here. It was a wonderful restaurant and the princes loved it here. So it would stand to reason the German forces used this restaurant as well and that's what they did from what we're told. But looking around I can't help but wonder what else could have been done here and why would the Russians blow it up of all places? So maybe there is something else to this place. Oh, gorgeous pillar that's just hiding back there. Nice cross. Yeah. What's interesting about that stilt steel beams standing sticking out from that. It looks like a chimney there. Mm -hmm. Don't know why you would have reinforcement bars on a chimney. Oh, what a gorgeous old castle. Absolutely beautiful. And the nice arches and everything. That I like. What's left of it. And you had the old firing ports for archers for back in the day. And the Russians blew it up because they thought the werewolves were hiding in here. Oh, this was described, they could have waited it out. That's interesting. Another firing, a little archery oh, port. Oh, oh. That's for archery because it's so it's so tall, right? And there's a toilet. So As a toilet. Pipe. There's a pipe. I thought that was a fighting it's position. To, yeah. To, to conduct fire. I mean, trust me. If people they bother me when I'm in the bathroom, I want to conduct fire too. <laughs> Not so far to fire. You can stay <laughs> on your post. I will, fi I will shit fighting. Or fight shitting. Uh, it's gorgeous. Oh! Yeah, because you would literally shit out, the, out over the wall, right? Yes. Yep. Outside. Yep, you would literally crap over the side of the wall. <laughs> oh, the good old days. But this was a good way for special forces for the that time. Yeah. To assess castle. Oh. Take over. <laughs> I mean, kill commander, kill Fighters. I mean, Himmler, he did like castles. And a total archery position. Mm -hmm. Love it, love Entrance it. Entrance to the cellars. Well, there was, there, was, there was a basement. Of course, there was a basement. There's always a basement. It's good, but it's possible to open. Well. So this is one of the. This is one of the towers. Big tower and smaller one on the side. Well, at least we have pictures of this when it existed. That would be a nice to compare with. Our castle is all the way up there, oh, right up there. She was a duchess, right? Mm -hmm. well, the lady of the of the castle. She was a duchess. Duchess. Was she a duchess or princess? princess? She was a princess. I can understand why she would love to sit here and watch this view. I understand that.
I wonder what the Germans used this place for during the war. Oh. This is a gorgeous door. I noticed. Why is there a World War II era gate in the... So, but here's a, an entrance, and up here is the old castle. The old castle is up there. There are some very strange grooves in the nature there that are parallel. And then you have this, which we know is World War II. Okay, well, let's follow. Yeah. Nazi gate. But this, this is not even, I mean, the construction site is on the other side of the river. Mm -hmm. There's no construction site here. Second. A second construction site. A couple complexes. They're not on the map. They're not on the official tour. Well, that's just interesting. There's just so many things around the castle here that doesn't make sense or doesn't match into any of the official stories that we've been told. And there's some very interesting things that they found. Just looking satellite image. It's just things that stands out of, that, that, that shouldn't exist. And remember what I've always told you in all my shows, in nature, there are no parallel lines. And there's not a whole lot of vertical lines either. All right. I'll follow you. I think so is on this field. You see a grass field? Mm -hmm. I have always been attracted to clearings in the middle of dense woods because they're not really supposed to be there or because there's something underneath them. This ground is not flat. This feels like it's been moved. The first one will be... But this whole ground has been disturbed. And th those two trees are younger than 70 years. So all the trees here has once been moved. This, this is not flat forest. Grooves. This is the weirdest, the strangest nature I've been in. This is not how forest full looks. Holy crap. Is this line? This is the middle of in what looks like an F rune. This is... What was the reason they made it? This was dug, this is not natural. And here's the intersection. Well, here you can really see them because there's no grass. You see, you can see the whole... According to the map, we're doing... Yeah. yeah. And here's, the, here's right here, yeah. Sharp angle. And sharp angle. And there's absolutely no way of this being an irrigation tunnel because we're on top of a hill. There's nowhere water would come from here. 
There's a stop. And then it stops. Mm -hmm. Stops here. I have no idea what application this would be for. There's an enormous amount of these grooves all over this area, but Alex is working on solving this puzzle and he will share with us what he finds. But if any of you have a clue or an idea, do let us know. This is the strangest thing. I mean, if this had been anywhere else. Here's the next one, but not visible on uh, Liga. So, this was this. We are, this line is this line. And this is not visible, it's going here. Yeah, it's not there. So this was literally, I mean, if this was anywhere else, I could see, yeah, okay, maybe somebody dug an irrigation tunnel, but there's no water here, there's nothing here, and it doesn't start anywhere. Then it would have to spring from here, and it doesn't. Probably just about that vintage. But here is an, could have been another line. This looks like a. And second lighter is over there. You see grass. Isn't yeah. It? And there's look 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 at this from here. You can see the groove mm -hmm. running to it. It's connected. But it all starts here. This is the. This, are we in a round intersection? That tree's been here forever. That one, all the other ones, maybe not so much, but that one has been here. All the other trees are fairly young. I mean, by that standard, I mean 80 years. Rocks, square rocks. I really don't know what to make of this. And one of the things you have to remember, we walked through this, the gates. For some reason, we are on the opposite side of the castle, inside a secure area, where these strange groups in nature springs out from. No, do we know anything about the construction that took place here? There was something going on here. Were the camps, labor camps, anything? That's another way of saying you don't know. I mean, th these rocks didn't put themselves here on their own. And this just keeps running. Okay, the thing we should do, go to the road and follow the road from the gate. Because whatever they were doing to the side, we have all these strange grooves, but... We need to see where the road goes. And there's another intersection of another set of runes. And they look like runes. If you were a farmer, you would say this is an irrigation place. And everywhere there's grass is crisscrossed by these grooves. And this, this, this whole woods look young. Yes. Most of these oh, trees yeah. are young. So this could have been seen from the sky. Although now I, I kind of feel I'm grasping a little bit. In this place, these places are not all trees. No. And here's another one. But all this whole terrain is flat. There's no, there's no, there's absolutely nowhere water would come from. This is not an irrigation tunnel or canal.
interesting thing about this tree, as you just pointed out, the roots go flat out to the side. And a lot of the bunkers I've seen that has like Wolfslayer and others where you put trees on the roofs, this is the type of tree you put there because the roots can't go down into the cement they're standing on. So they grow out to the side. That's why they are ideal for that. I'm just pointing out that that's the kind of trees we have here, meaning we don't really know what's underground here, that the trees, in case they were planted, would be ideal for. Well, there's a hole in the wall, and none of us brought lights, because someone didn't say we were going to find a tunnel in the middle of nowhere. Thank you. Well done. It's good to take light. Oh, shit. Well, I'm... Okay. I don't think... I think before World War II, this doesn't look like World War II. Yeah. No, what is it? It could be... Holy fuck with mosquitoes. Mm -hmm. I fucking hate mosquitoes. <sighs> Peace off. It's kind of off too. It's small. A wine cellar. Yes, typical cellar. Well, people have probably been digging in here. Mm, they're looking for gold. Oh, yeah. But yeah, this is old. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Ugh. But yeah, this is old. Interesting. It could even beautiful, have been very beautiful hundred years ago. You know what? This could have been the back of this could there could have been a building here. Maybe. I mean look at all this. You, uh -huh. All this could have been a building. And then this could just have been built into the cell as like you know, the ladder. The little cellar yeah. in the mountain. Yeah, it was like a corner. You look at the tile. Look at it. Floor tile. That didn't come from in there. Mm -hmm. Come More glazed tile. Yeah, there used to be a fairly big building here, I think. It's more of the back wall. It could have been stables. Could have well, not with that here, floor. The second one. Got secured. Yeah. Like this. Okay. It's possible. And here's another foundation wall. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is interesting stuff. That is far from other people, from other buildings. But enough red brick and rubble around here. If owner died, nobody was living here after him. No. It's forgotten place. There's a lot of those. Yeah. yeah. Oxid. Yep, this is dirty water. Uh -huh. This water from mine or an underground tunnel have iron. Why is there, is there iron in the underground? This is iron. Iron. Yes, it is. Oxide. I, iron dioxide. It's funny, running down parallel in the opposite direction with the river. I mean, look at the water on the brook. It's full of full of iron. There's the water in there. Mm -hmm. ah. It's coming from here. This is not contaminated by iron. Uh, no, it's not. This is clear. Mm -hmm. So the source of that water is different. Yeah, and you see it over on the other bank of the river. It's just full of full of metals. So the castle is, well, ahead of us, up to the right. This concrete pipe mm -hmm. has possible 
emergency escape from underground system. It's possible. It's possible. I'm not sure, is it? No, no. What is possible? Look on that side, you see? Official version is that this is water control. It is a little bit strange, you know? Yeah. Regularly, doors should be vertical, not on the side, uh, not uh, angled. Oh, what the hell is this thing? Black card. Hey, Katie. Oh. I mean... Do you have your life? <sighs> it's in my backpack we left in the car. And mine is not in the car. Of course. But this is... Come look at this. This is the tar you put on roofing oh, yes. from World uh, War II. To secure this. Yeah, this is water my ass. A lot of trash. Yeah, but there's no water. But this it is it looks it looks like round. The wall is rounded. This is not a bunker. But that place is finished. Oh, this is a regular. This entrance. is a separate shelter, if anything. But it's another level, second level. Is it first level? Second level? This was stolen. Yeah. Flap. Probably made in uh, Waldenburg. Then you have bricks and then you have stone beneath that. And a square. Com composite. Together. Yeah, it's, it's and, uh, concrete. It, it was. Yeah, here you got. Yeah, you got a round well. Well, it could be a round well. It's just interesting that right there in this parking lot is the concentration camp. Yes, this is yeah. the run of concentration camp. It's right on that parking lot. This is just. This looks very wartime. It's a little thin, though. This is a little thin. I mean, it could be a water reservoir, I suppose. But why are there two holes on it? We can and go a door. All around. I'm curious. But hidden. This is just a strange hybrid of construction. Let's see what look what the camp foundation looks like. There's just nothing straightforward about anything here, is there? Nothing is just the way it seems. You go to a fighting position, it's a fighting position. Yes. This is where the cannon went, this is where the machine gun went. That's easy. This is, this easy. is always... And you do. Yeah. This is just more and more questions. Every time you find an answer, there's another question. Huh. Back up on the top side where the castle is, we first pass the mausoleum walking away from it. That comes with its own particular theories that we'll get back to at a later date. But I wanted to see the site of the labor camp that is placed about a kilometer away from the castle. It should just be a parking lot. However... Wood is very old and I don't want to go. So this is a whole room. So there's a whole building here. And that's not new. This looks like for a car. Maybe garage. It does actually look like garage. I will check. So it's the security cameras. This yeah. is an empty parking space. Yes. What? Why? Why? What is the reason? I mean, I don't know what this is, if it has any relation to the camp, but this is modern shed, modern cameras, just to watch. A space. There's no memorial. There's no museum. There's maybe some, maybe some stone from the foundations. This is the strangest thing. I, I, this doesn't make sense. There's no reason whatsoever to be here. This is not private property. It's not like there's a house in here. Mm -hmm. The best way is to go to check. We can knock on the door. There's a guy sitting in that little hole in there watching us come up here. Will you start by asking him? So maybe it's the top of the house? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm they assuming there's somebody in through. there. Yeah. This is on the level. Terrain level. Come All wood. All wood. What is it?
Come on back here. What is this? Ciao. Put in it over here. Ask, ask him what the hell this is. Good. What about up the stairs here? I know, I told you that. But what, what is this? This looks like garage. Uh -huh. And this is big oven, big oven inside. Like for uh, central uh, central uh, heating. Uh -huh. This dimension. Big. It's not small. But what the hell? And I mean, I guess we can't go up the stairs. Can we go up the stairs? Yes. Uh, this was that guy from uh, Parkour. It was. Hmm. And you see? Seems like you have a lot of humor now. Okay, so concrete. Now that's kind of what we're looking for. So what is this other he heating? Modern or old? Uh, heating? Yeah. What is, what did you find? I had no light. Oh. It was, but was uh, in the shadow. But big. Okay, so this is the foundation of the old camp. And there's a staircase up, so this could be uh, this would be a building foundation. There's another foundation up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that's a road. So this is that's the road is. And, and a plate, yellow plate. <laughs> I guess he didn't tell you what was in there. I mean, this is such a public place. What do you put in the place of an old concentration camp? What building could possibly be here that's a secret or, or important? This is a bad idea to void something here. This is a place of memory. That's what I mean. But it's not a memorial. Nothing is, nothing is straightforward here, is it? Outstanding. Yeah, Al Fischnstein. So this is this is the only memorial the labor camp gets. A little thing on this. Do you know what this is? Do you know what this foundation is? It's the foundation stone for for an old power pole. I think you used so to have old. power here, and then you have the uh, a, a bigger pole. Is a foundation stone. This is old. Yeah. So, and then in there you have the actual camp. Or what's left of it, or what's underground. I've never, I've never seen a completely broken down, obscure place being guarded like this. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Hole, sand. So I guess water pool. <laughs> and <laughs> a low tech, high security area. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll go with that. Low tech, high security. I know. Well, this is a great way to hide all features in the ground. Speaking of, why are there no grass here? It's a hole with a square with no, no, no soil. Excavation, probably. Yeah. Somebody use a metal detector and dig. Yeah. No. no, I don't really like this. This is probably a good thing. <laughs> All right, that was interesting. 
almost a curve to it. This is not local stone, is it? It's from uh, Strigo. Gross Rosen as well. Yeah. I um, mean, they would, whatever this they would... It's a quarry, big quarry of granite. I mean, whatever they would dig up out of the mel out of the tunnels, they would use for construction. I, I get that. So, besides looking at this stunningly beautiful view, there's one thing that kind of stands out that's been going on here for a long time. I see high voltage. I see electricity. I see chimneys, power plants, industry. And if you're going to deal with secret projects, you need a lot of electricity. And everywhere throughout the Risa area, there is just an enormous amount of electric poles still today. Granted, that one is new, but I'm betting 80 years ago, there was an old electric pole. Next, we're going to take a look at the underground under the factory and labor camp, whereas there is a tunnel system that is also part of the Riza complex, but I couldn't find it last time. Now, however, I know where it is. I hope you enjoy history and military history as much as I love bringing it to you. And if you want to see more of the photos and documents I've used for these episodes, documentation, so on, you can go to lostbattlefields.com. And if you feel like helping me out traveling around the world to some of these far-flung locations like Van Allen Brown's first test stand behind me or Deepness nuclear reactor down there or the Magital Line over there, you can donate on PayPal. Uh, protection at serviceint.com. It'll be right here and it is also on lostbattlefields.com. You absolutely don't have to, but I appreciate any help and I love all you guys for all the support you've shown me because history is important. We all know that and I'm going to bring it to you.